All right, we are going to customize our Aweber button. So let's head on over to cooltext.com and click right here to buttons or you can, here, it doesn't really matter which one you pink because they're all so customizable, customizable. <laughs> but um, I just, you know, pick one that appeals to you. You can change the color, the font, the everything. So I picked this one. I like it. All right. And so we are going to say, give me the secrets because we're going to have some good copyright on our button. All right. Now I'm going to click right here for the font and I'm going to pick a good font. Normally you want a sans serif font because they're just easier to read very quickly. People see it and they don't have to think about what, uh, what it's saying. You don't realize it, but if it takes a little bit longer to read it, you just don't sometimes. So see, nice and clean. And then you can go around if you want it bigger, smaller. This, I like this size, so I'm not gonna change that, the outline. I think it looks pretty good. I like the color. If you wanted to change the button fill color, you know, I red is a great color for a button, red, yellow. You want those brighter colors, orange. Here are the shape, you know, you can change it whatever you want, pretty simple. This is the outline. You can play with it. Usually, I mean, once you find one you like, you don't play too much. Here's the only thing you want to change. You come over here, mouse over, no matter what button you're on for your Aweber button, it's just easier if you put none. All right, so let's just click it. Make sure you have none. Make sure the button's exactly how you like it. You can change everything you need. And then hit render button. Then we're going to go to get HTML code. We're going to have to agree to the terms. All right, now this is the only tricky part of the whole entire thing. They give you all this code, and if you don't know HTML, that might be a little bit overwhelming, but it's always the same every time. So if you can do this once, you can do this every time. You're gonna look for the image source. You see right here where it says image source? That's gonna tell you where the image is located. So you're going to highlight the image source. Now you just take the things that are in the quotations. Don't include the quotations just the web address where this image resides. All right, and now you're gonna copy that and you're done with that part of it. And now you're gonna go over and log into your Aweber account or get response. I'm not sure how get response, I don't have get response, so I'm sure it's close. Oops. So go ahead and log in. And if I'm going too fast for you, just hit pause. I promise I'll wait for you. <laughs> All right, so now you're gonna to go to the list that you know your web form is on or you know that you're creating. I'm gonna to go to, let's see, Jaren Retail, let's see. And I'm gonna to go to my web forms. All right, Travel Secrets, we'll go right here, click that web form. All right, so here I've got my web form and I don't want it to just say submit. I want it to say something fancy. So what you do is you go over to here to the form type and you go all the way down to submit button. Simple. Then click over here to advanced. And now you just click in there. It's got the HTTP, but make sure you highlight that so we don't do it twice and paste what you had. That was just my, what I had from the cool text copied. Remember I copied it. So I just pasted it right in there. And then uh, there we go. I just clicked somewhere else and that popped up and then you're going to save your web form. And you are all set. Now you can make whatever kind of button you want and that's, you just can just change it right there. You can put that advanced tab away if you wanna hide it. But that's a super simple way to get good looking buttons when all you're offered is that submit one because you really don't want an opt-in with that submit button. You want it to be way, way better. All right, this is Laura Kuhn. If you like this post, make sure to comment, like it, share it with your friends, and you can always head on over to Laura Kuhn online for more tips for online and offline network marketers.